Would it be too much to ask for Edmonton to actually show up for a game one? Right, first off, hopefully Matias Janmark is okay. Sucks to see him go down again, but kudos to the Vegas fans and to any Oiler fans that were in around that part of where the injury happened. They were just yelling and screaming at the officials trying to get their attention to stop the play before TD just kind of took it upon himself to hop onto the ice mid-play because yes, his player hit his head and was injured and they didn't call it down. Beyond that, I didn't really see any issues with the officiating today. Kind of agreed with all the calls, as few of them as there were. My god, this Vegas team is disciplined. Edmonton loses 6-4, to four, and despite all that, I think we can just give Stewie the calder now. Like, the dude played so out of his mind tonight, trying to keep Edmonton in this game, but unfortunately, Edmonton just wasn't able to pull through. And man, this Vegas team, like, that 2-1-2 that they have going on on top of their relentless attack... Felt very, very like vintage Lindy Ruff with the Buffalo Sabres. The way they can just get four, sometimes all five guys in swarming and crashing the net. Oh man, that's just going to be really tough to play against. My buddy actually texted me when Leon scored his second goal saying that Leo was looking to get his Joe Pavelski night tonight. And yes, turns out that was the monkey's paw. We did get his Joe Pavelski tonight, but it came at the cost of Edmonton losing. Just like Dallas did. So here we are. Anyways, because the NHL's inability to fucking learn how to schedule properly, game two is Saturday at like seven or six or something. I don't even know. It's so fucking dumb what they're doing with the schedule right now in these playoffs. Oh, sure, they have to make this June 19th cutoff. Well, then maybe schedule games that aren't three, four, fucking five days in between the next game. Yeah, not much to recap here. Vegas just outplayed and outworked Edmonton, period.